evening and welcome to TR Physics and today I'm going to talk about Hooke's Law. Now Hooke was a physicist who was looking at springs and how the force they you would apply to them and the relationship between the force uh, that you apply to them and the extension that they would extend or compress. And so what he did is he looked at how much extension you had for how much force you put on. And what I've done here is I have drawn the graph to show Hooke's law. Now the definition of Hooke's law is that the force is proportional to the extension. And in an exam that's worth one mark. This is the bit that people tend to forget, and it's the important bit. Up until the limit of proportionality. And what I mean by that is that up to the point where the line isn't proportional to each other, and what I mean by that is a straight line, Hooke's law is obeyed. So this bit here is the limit of proportionality. It's sometimes called the elastic limit. And what it says up to that point that the force y is directly proportional to the extension, change in x or f equals a constant, and we're going to call that k, delta x. This k is known as the spring constant. And its units are newtons per metre. The bigger the spring constant, the steeper the line. So this one here has a larger spring constant than this one. This means I require a lot of force to change its um, extension. Higher spring constant means a stiffer spring. What I mean by this elastic limit is that this is the point. If I put more force than this, the spring will not go back to its original position. It will behave plastically. So this bit here is elastic, and up here is plastic. And what plastic means is like plastics. They are materials that don't go back to the original shape. So think of like a favourite jumper or a hoodie or whatever, and on the sleeves, you can keep stretching it, but if you apply too much force to it, eventually it won't go back to its original shape and it's deformed. We call that plastic deformation. So this here, this spring constant, this equation is Hooke's law and it relates to this graph. Now one of the drawbacks of Hooke's law is that if I change anything about that spring, its length, thickness, material, I get a completely different graph. And that's when we talk about later on when we talk about Young's modulus. And that is Hooke's law. <laughs> 